Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you like a step by step tutorial or guide of how I do my transitions um, in this edit that I would have finished making by now. It should be posted <clears throat> on Instagram. Um, so you might have seen it there, but I'm just going to show you the process um, that I go through to make the transitions for the edit. Okay, so you'll see right now I've just got my clips here. They've all been twisted and most of them are flow framed. Um, I'll show you a few graphs, but I won't show you how to twist through a clip because I just want to focus on the transitions and I'll talk talk to you through them, how I do them, so you can see for yourself. Um, and yeah, so I'll just show you what it looks like right now. So we have a couple blank spots here um, and that's going to be like a reverse transition. And again, I'll show you that as we go. And by the way, I just have to mute the audio to the edit just for copyright reasons. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is a reverse transition of this clip. So I've left a space here at about seven keyframes long, or like you can do like six to eight, any in between there is pretty good. We're going to duplicate our clip, drag it over here. We're going to hit U on the clip, and this should bring up like whatever method you've used to twist that, your, your frame number, which is what I do, or your time remap keyframes. We're just going to drag them in, and then we have to reverse them so you Whichever way you did, just make the first one the end of the clip. So if you do the frame number, you can just type it in um, and then make the second one back to the beginning of the clip. So now it runs in reverse. Okay, we'll go on to the graph editor with the keyframes highlighted. And we'll just make a graph which is just fast out and just keeping the movement on the way in. So. You might see here when it sort of switches over, there's no movement. You're just going to drag the keyframe one clip, one frame over, and then you'll see that it keeps movement the whole way. So it'll look like this. So that alone makes a transition in itself. Okay, on to the next clip. Here we're going to do like a scale zoom and a bit of a positional change because uh, we're using the same character in the next clip as well. So to do that, we're going to create a null object over the first clip. Now I just use Easy Layers plugin. If you see here, I can just click on null and it creates a null object for me. It adds motion tile, um, just it, it adds it in line with the clip, so it's already lined up for you. So you get that plugin if you don't already. Now, what we're going to do is eye it off about halfway and then one frame, one frame past what we would guess half of the clip is. And we're going to put our scale keyframe here and then go to the end keyframe and we're going to scale then at 650. So it's a big scale, but we, we um, with the graph editor here, so highlight the keyframes, we make it very slow in and fast out pretty much all the way like this. Now we're going to go back to where we started the scale and hit P, for position, drag the two keyframes, your X and Y position, so make sure your position is in separate dimensions. Then we're going to go over to the last two keyframes. And we're going to find where where the character was and put that right in the middle. So you can sort of see the blurry character in there. Highlight them, F9 for easy ease. And we'll go to, for the X position first. And the, the graph will be something like this. So slow in and the outs will keep it on a little bit of an angle like this. And then with the X here. And then a bit of an angle again like this. Not too far. And you see it start to move as it zooms in here. Now you can keep playing around with that to get it perfect, but I won't spend too much time. You just make little adjustments like this um, with the graph until you get it so you're happy enough for the zoom. So look something like that. Um, now the second part of the zoom transition, which is important, is we're going to add the null object again to the next clip. But we're going to start the scale at 90. Okay, you want it to be zoomed out a little bit so the, the zooming in continues into the next clip. A lot of people just leave it at 100 and then it, it looks like it hits like a wall and it just comes to a stop. Okay, so we start it at 90. In the last scale frame, we're going to put it at 110. So the whole time the zoom sort of continues on to the clip with the graph editor something like this, so the, uh, the movement just goes the whole way. Um, so then you see, uh, as it zooms in, it keeps on zooming in and it makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, so here, 
that's good and then we're going to go to the next part so again we have a space here i'm going to duplicate the clip and add another reverse transition so i showed you this in the first one just to save time and tutorial just sort of copy that same same theory hey one thing to note if you're doing this reverse transition when you create a new uh like when you duplicate the layer and then make the reverse part it's not going to be attached to your null so just extend the null over it and then go to the parent pick clip click and drag it onto the null and then if we've already messed with the dimensions on the null click on the the clip and just check that like the scale is still 100 percent because it can change on its own okay now these transitions are done by this clip selection here so you see this one zooms in then the reverse comes out and the next clip I've chosen naturally is zooming out. Okay, with no transition, it looks like a transition. Yeah. Okay, so the next part of this, I again reverse it so it zooms in into the next clip, which I've chosen that zooms in, and then I'll zoom that one back out. So this whole sequence here, you see it. You don't even need to do any transitions, right? It's just clip selection. So just take a little bit more time to find clips that go with each other and that's how you make clean transitions okay so we're gonna go from here so looking at this, this is all done for us we're gonna go from here and make a transition from this clip into this clip up here so for this transition we're going to do like a diagonally zoom out transition okay so I'll show you that we're gonna add a null object and we're going to hit P so make sure your keyframes your X and Y are separate Drag the first frame, uh, keyframes just like one clip over halfway, just eye it out. Go to the next two, drag them one frame in, and then we're going to go to the bottom left, bottom right, sorry, of the screen. And then we're going to highlight easy ease. Now just go to the graph editor. I'm going to go slow in into fast out, okay? Something like this. Just copy that graph, and then we're going to go to the Y position same thing slow in and then we'll be fast out so it'll be like this now to add a little bit extra to the transition what we're going to do is go to the same spot we started the position on and then hit s to bring up scale just put this one in the exact same position and then go one frame in and make the scale 25 percent okay now highlight the keyframes and go to the graph editor and it's going to be the same same sort of graph slow in fast out and now so as it does the positional movement it also is zooming out into the next clip now over here to finish the transition i'm going to add another null we're going to start the um, position here and then finish it like one frame over halfway the other side okay now with these highlight the keyframes you have to make them top left so it was, it was bottom right before, now it's going to be the opposite, top left. Highlight the keyframes, go into the graph editor, and we're going to make this a fast out. Um, and slow, slow in. So we're going to see this graph, actually we're going to, you can, you're going to change it a little bit because we're going to hit S to bring up scale again. And because we were zooming out in the last clip, we're going to make the scale 195 on the start. Highlight the keyframes. You can just leave them how they are for this, or like 100 at the end. So 195 here, 100 at the end. And with this graph, it's just going to be a fast out. So, like something like this for the scale graph. So, what that's going to do is as it's zooming out, it's going to look like it continues to zoom out. Okay. So, again, I was talking about earlier, you don't want it to stop and hit any walls or anything. So, the transition will be something like this and then you can play around because we have the scale zoom in so much you don't really need to worry about motion tile so you can make this like um positional graph quite slow or a lot of movement and you won't see any motion tile okay so you can just make them you can mess around with them to until you find something you like so this will look something like this right so it zooms out as it goes into this positional transition now onto the next clip, I'm going to show you, we're going to do the same thing, but to the other corner because we're transitioning down into this clip here. Now what we're going to do, the little trick to keeping our movement, okay, is we're going to create a separate null object. We're going to do another positional transition, but if I just continued from here 
to the end of this null object, you'll see that these like three, four frames here, it'll, it'll come to a stop in the movement and that's why it'll look stiff. Okay, so we're gonna create a separate null object and we're gonna go like one frame past that one or maybe one or two and then we're gonna start this positional X and Y and then we're going to go the other way, so the top right corner and then do your graph editor here um, same sort of graph as the, as the beginning, we need to slow into fast. Um, this one in, so something like this, and then same with the Y, we need to slow into fast. Okay, now that way it's, it's gone in here and then it's going to go down to this corner, but it saves most of the movement, okay? Now, with the scale we put on earlier, we're actually going to put that in the same spot as the position was and then you might have to fix the graph a little bit now we're going to add in so that's the scale zooming out this scale we're going to start here and we're going to zoom in just the 195 as it transitions so you do that there and then go to the graph editor this will be slow and fast and then you'll have to go back to the Positional keyframes again, just because it's zooming in, you'll see that it, it helps with the keyframe, uh, the motion tile again, so you can make it a bit, a bit slower. And then you'll mess around with both of these. A lot of this is just trial and error when you do your edit. Just keep keep changing things until you're happy with it. Okay, so now it's gone up and then zooming in as it goes to the next clip. With our, it doesn't come to a stop because we've got two nulls here with with offset dimensions okay so it just starts to sort of take over into the next transition now following on to this clip create a new null object hit p we're going to add just the other side of the transition so you've got to go to the bottom left because we went top right um, now this is a very short clip with the with the beat here so you can pretty much leave the keyframes like at the end of the clip just go onto the graph editor and go fast into slow. Um, just for this one, because we're actually zooming in as we go, I'll show you what we have to do. So, same thing with this one. Uh, we're going to do what we did earlier and start the scale at 90, and then we're going to put this at the end to 110. Just so it continues on from the zoom in that we started with. So, make this something like here okay and then we'll see it go quickly into this frame uh, this clip here and then just because the next clip is in like on her face here we're going to add another null to this and just to be a little bit picky it looks fine how it is because it sort of transitions itself but we're going to add a little scale zoom 300 for the scale um just like just before sort of halfway, we'll start it and then we'll go slow into fast and we're going to go here to position like this and then just drag it a little bit to the side so we'll see that she's more in the middle of the frame and then do your position here into a little bit slow and then this one will be in a bit and then you'll see it just all transitions in a bit nicer onto the next clip, okay? So we don't even need to worry about the following zoom here because this clip is moving in. Now the last transition is from this clip into this one here. So I'm gonna show you a little, a little rotation in this transition. This is probably one of my favorites um, that I do. So we're gonna start off with a, let's start off with the zoom. So we're gonna add a zoom our position and rotation but we're going to start them all from the same spot so the scale is going to start from about here just over halfway again we're going to go to 195 in the scale f9 we'll do the graph so slow into fast something like this for this one then we're going to go into the position start them in the same spot that the scale was and then drag them one frame in and this, we're just going to go to the side. So I'm going to go to this side here. And then we're going to just, because we only did the um, X position, just 
highlight that and then go into the graph again like this and then lastly we're going to go to rotation so that's r on the keyboard and we're going to try again you just try and you might have to switch off up we're going to go to minus 15 and we're going to see what it looks like this way the keyframe easy ease and then at the same time this rotation can be a little bit different of a graph something like this and we'll just see what that looks like so as it zooms in you see it sort of rotate there and then we'll go into the next clip null object then we have to start the scale we'll bring this about halfway we're going to start the scale with the same thing at 90 so it continues the zoom um, into let's go 110 and we'll go graph editor up here so it's fast in and out slow out then we will do the um, position next we want it in the same spot that we finish with the scale so here now this so last time we went to the right we have to go from the left this time highlight the x position go fast fast out or fast in slow out like here and then lastly with the rotation uh, we went minus 15 before so we're going to go plus 15 and then we're going to finish it on the same spot uh, at zero there okay and then go into your graph editor this one will be just a little bit different for the rotation just not so intense or something like this and then you'll see it will go in like this so it's like a little rotation transition here you can keep playing around with it to like fix a little motion tile there but we to, to do that you just like again you can pull off the position one frame and it pretty much fixes it all for you and then you'll make the graph a little bit slower like this and you've got that transition there to we're not going to add like shakes and blurs and stuff but when there's a bit of motion tile you just add like a little blur over the transition and then it just hides it completely so you don't worry about that too much so yeah let's just have a look at the whole project here um obviously with no music um and no shakes or anything i'll just add them myself but shakes are just like you can just use preset shakes that you get from other people whatever it's uh yeah they're all very good so you don't really need to know how to like make a shake i don't think so um yeah just the key the key points to this quickly is your clip selection okay that's how i edit i take a bit more time to think of clips or find clips that flow with each other just like these they're all they're all doing the transition for you just if if one clip is yeah going one direction remember you can reverse it on the way back too so it flows nicely with the other clip um that's it i hope this was helpful um and i hope you sort of yeah understood what i was trying to say but thank you for watching just leave a comment what you want to see next and yeah see ya